All right, I wanted to show you today the Lock-In Palm Vein Recognition Smart Lock. If you want a convenient way to open your door into your house or into your rooms, you may want to consider this product. You can open your doors using this keypad right here. You can use the fingerprint unlock and lock right at the top there. There's even the doorbell and behind that doorbell, you can open the door using physical keys. But of course the main feature is gonna be that ability to just wave your palm right over the top sensor here to open and lock the door. So I'm gonna talk about all the features, what comes in the box, how to get this thing set up most importantly, and I'll also show you what you can do in the app. So basically everything comes in the box, including all the screws, the strike plates, the keys, even the rechargeable battery, but it also actually comes with this optional solar panel. This is gonna ship with the package. If you wanna be able to power it using the sun, you can. There's adhesives at the back for you to stick this to the wall, and then everything is powered using this USB-C. That battery is also gonna be able to be charged using the USB-C slot on the side. So let's look at how to install it. So you can start by installing the strike plate and match box. Now I actually have mine from the previous door. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and keep that and skip that step. And then the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and install the deadbolt. Now this does lengthen or shorten depending on how far your back set is set. So I'm just gonna keep mine short. You'll see at the top, it says top. So that's how you're gonna insert it. You go ahead and put it in like so. And then once it's snug, make sure that wire goes underneath and then you will go ahead and screw it in. All right, next thing you wanna do is take your exterior assembly, so the part that goes outside the door, and then make sure these wires go underneath and then you're just gonna make sure that tailpiece goes through the hole in that deadbolt. This all right, so that should keep itself in place. So for now, just go ahead and grab your interior assembly and you're gonna see that this mounting plate comes right off since it's not attached yet. And we're just gonna work with that for now. So go ahead and place the mounting plate on the inside and you're gonna want all three wires here to go through that hole here. Then we're gonna take these included mounting screws here. You're gonna see the two holes for these screws right on the side of the tailpiece. All right, once you have both screws in place, you're gonna take your interior assembly and you're gonna plug all three of these wires into it. And there's a nice little diagram in the manual to show you exactly where each one goes. All right, so we just need to attach the interior to the mounting plate. So you would remove this part here. It just comes right off, you pull it off, and then you take the three black screws and insert them into these three holes right here. And then you'll just want to double check that the latch can go in and out real easily. So this looks good to me. And here's the part where we install the battery. So we just plug it in like so. Please open the Lock and Smart app and add the Lock and Smart Lock. Perfect. That's a good sign already. The vo little voice came on letting us know to download the app. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll show you what you can do in the app and show you all the various ways that you can unlock and lock this. All right, guys, so here we are at the app. So when you first register, it's going to have you set your fingerprint, set your passcode, and the palm recognition, you simply just place your palm over that sensor, and it'll instantly recognize it within two seconds, and then you're essentially good to go after that. So on this main page, this is where you can unlock and lock the lock just by holding down on that blue lock icon. And if you actually just click into the lock itself this is where you'll see the locked status the connection and the battery life at the top there and you can set your notifications using the rich notifications so here you can choose what you want to be notified by the door lock settings this is where you can adjust various settings like one touch locking you can enable that that way you can hold the lock key for two seconds to be able to lock the door quickly if you don't have auto lock on. You can actually turn off palm vein unlocking and then auto wake up with palm vein. This way, if you have that on, you can just use your palm to wake up the lock. And then we have the auto lock settings here. Uh, you can turn that on or off. And the nice thing is you can adjust the lock countdown. So I personally like it at, at once, but you can adjust it to go all the way up to 180 seconds. There's also wrong try protection, so after a certain number of failures, you can have the lock locked down for a minute, and you can select the failure count. And then there's audio settings, which essentially you can change the various volumes for all the alerts, the alarms, the voices. 
If you need to change any of your passwords, redo your fingerprints and whatnot, you can click on manage access. This is also you would add additional members such as your family to be able to use that lock. If you have an Airbnb, for example, you can use the temporary password function. That way you can just set one-time passwords or periodic passwords. All right, guys, so I just wanted to demonstrate this thing in action. All right, so we'll try the fingerprint first. And as you can see, it recognized it right away. There really was no delay on it. And then the auto lock, since I have it going off at once. There you go. We, we know that's working just fine. Here's the doorbell, by the way. So that's kind of what that sounds like, and you can change the volume within the app. All right, so I'll put in my passcode now. Look at that. And then finally, here's the palm vein. Just like that. I just raised my hand, and right away it, it recognized it. And the nice thing about it is if you, if you have your hands a little dirty, or even if they're wet, um, you know, it's just going to be trying to recognize these guys right here, so that shouldn't affect it at all. It'll still work. You can even be having your palm move like that, and it'll still recognize it. So that's pretty cool. So definitely something to look into if you're looking for that convenience to be able to just wave your hand, present your hand to unlock and lock your door. So definitely check this thing out today.